There is no greater excitement than changing the mindset of a Bachar. When I have a Bachar who came into this year and he convinced himself that he couldn't learn or that he wasn't successful, if I can get him involved to the point where the Bachar that were on the sidelines are worked up about what they're doing, to ask questions, to challenge what's happening, I'm not challenged by that. I thrive. I enjoy being a Rebbe. I wake up in the morning to be a Rebbe. To learn and to teach is the most important mitzvah which we have out of all the mitzvahs. The boys here have a very big thirst to learn. I feel they have a big potential, the boys. What you can gain out of learning between halacha, gemara, chomesh, you see the way life is. It makes you into a person. So it's still considered that he's attached to this rishos. Shouldn't have any shyness to the paper anymore. In every aspect of the yeshiva, we have rabbeim who are the steam kids. The only thing we do differently is we give them the time that they can grow naturally. There must be something better. Mary's an amazing person. He just makes sure that everybody's able to do what they're capable of doing. They don't put too much pressure on you. Gradually, they get you to a certain level. The young boys yet, they're not used to the long hours and the long days. You have to work with them. That's what we're about. In order for him to grow, a bacher would have to feel comfortable. All the rabbeim help out and giving to each bacher whatever is needed for that bacher. The rabbeim try not just to be classroom rabbeim. There's a very strong Rebbe Talmud connection. My job is to look at these boys and to see them smiling. If Bachar feel good about themselves, they produce. We need to be Makar of the Bachar. Two riots. It's not hard being away from home for me because I feel this yeshiva is very, they're very nice here and they make you feel at home. These guys come from all over and Rabbi Strasfeld opens his hands and takes them in and tries to bring them up like his own kid. And that's catchy. And that's something that we as a staff try to emulate. You're sort of bonding with them. You pick up the derech of life from the Rebbe itself. It's not just we're teaching a piece of Gemara or a math course. It's teaching him what's important to life, and he'll be able to pass it on to the rest of Palin Strong. We've seen great Hatzlacha. We've seen the Talmidim growing, becoming Lamdonim. And the hope is that this will be something that will always be part of their lives. Uh, and I want to take this. Part of the English department is understanding the importance of every boy being able to uh, support his family. And we need to give a wholesome education. General Studies was able to take me to where I am now, a workers' compensation audit. My main education was, was here. I think once we give them the self-confidence and the self-esteem that they're capable and they're able and they're as good as anyone, then the fact that there will be pressure later on in life, they'll be ready for that pressure. Success breeds success. And that's, I think, the key to it. The fact that you know a tesis, you want to know next tesis. You know Omar Aleph, you want to know Omar Bayes. You know one svar, you want to know another svar. That's the greatest key to success. We're currently running a post-high school-based medish program. The boys are learning beautifully. And Baruch Hashem, they've made a name for Englewood when they go on to all the better yeshivas in, in Eretz Yisrael. And they're well known that the boys that come here are very, very special. Twice <laughs> expressed it with the Gemara increases. This base medish program has the potential of being from the top best business programs 
around. The more you learn, the more you want to learn. And we see that. The Bochum are steiging, learning basmada. Sometimes we have to tell the Talmudim, please rest up because you need some physical uh, rejuvenation. The Rosh Hashiva of Don Blumberg, us Bochum get to uh, have very close cash with him. We get to uh, connect with him on a personal level. It's amazing because he's such a god of a person. Moshe Friedman is just a bundle of energy. And he's always teaching them, showing them. He teaches Baobati in the morning, Daf Yoimi here in the community. Whenever I meet them, like, oh, Rabbi Friedman, I wish we had every day Rabbi Friedman. Yeah, sure. Rabbi Shulman I have this year. You have uh, sort of a connection to, to, to a spiritual leader right in one building every single day. Rabbi Tzvi Menachem Feigenbaum is a Talmud Chochem of, of unbelievable stature. Just makes the Talmudim feel like they're at home and that this is, this is where they want to be. Had I been zeichet to have such rabbi when I was young, who knows what I could have accomplished. It's what I do, it's what I love, it's my life, learning the Hailing of Torah, nothing better than that. Torah through the generations is what kept the Jewish people together. The Torah is the glue, the mandate, the reason and the way we exist. You want to guarantee that your son's going to come out of high school, out of yeshiva, with the love for Yiddishkeit, you know, and to know what the right thing to do is, this is the yeshiva to come to. Many members of the congregation in Passaic sent their children there after they saw the success of my son in Englewood Yeshiva. Never thought I got this far. Privileged to be in this yeshiva. If you're serious, you'll get a great education here. Everything where I am today is because of them. No, this to be, this is one. We work with the highest kids, we work with the kids who struggle. We'll get them there as long as they're willing to work with us and let me hold their hand. We will certainly get them to the finish line.